need a win. We'll take a look at all the off-season stuff after this. Uh, I just need a win. That's for sure. Playing these boys again. Ugh. Our defensive stats are good, man. They really are. Both off, both of these offenses struggle, and they're both led by their defenses. Ours is considerably better, so. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're at University of Phoenix Stadium for what's shaping up to be another great bowl game. Set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Florida is going to use their first time out of the half here. Play fake. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 43. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He throws. And he's tackled right away. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. There, there wasn't anybody near him at all. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three play, 74 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense looking more and more explosive. So, our score 7 0. Morrison from the one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's tackled the 26-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Seven-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result again a nice play for the offense. Runs it left for a decent game. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Gains his way to midfield. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. That creates chances in the play-action passing game. The Spartans had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, second down. And he 
he's tackled at the 45. This one's coming back. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Guns it across the middle. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 27-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. This is the ninth play of this drive. Nice gain as he works to the right side. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. The Spartans saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He heaves it to the end zone. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. up looks long enough and he nails the long field goal Michigan State kick this one off sends it sailing downfield and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. From their own 22-yard line, second down, Florida is up by four. That quickly incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Throws complete. Big loss. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. Hey, to punt. He's tackled at the 41. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Right side. 
This one will fall incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From their own 49-yard line, third down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Carr is back to receive. Calls for the fair catch. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Florida is up four. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 14. Got it and brought down immediately. to the halfback on the screen. Out of bounds at the 18-yard line. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Gators are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. The tackle made around the 37-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7-6, Florida. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to pump the ball away the last time they had it. Florida up a point. Easy, 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 easy. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From their own 25-yard line. It's second down. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down at the 44. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. Throw picked off. Brought down around the 
the 47-yard line. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. From the 47-yard line, first down. The Gators wide receiver out with an apparent injury, although he might make a comeback later in this game. you back to the action here just about set to start the second quarter tailback brought down for a loss he was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry third down now and they need to get it to the 25 He launches one for the end zone. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. He makes the PAT. Michigan State is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, he still have such a close game despite how well they play. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. out of bounds at the 40-yard line. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. And he's taken down at the 48. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Incomplete. That pass led him just a little bit too far, but still a great effort. Tackle around the 48 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 48 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he 
tackles him hard at the 34. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Offense lines up in a five wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. And he just gets rid of it. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that back? Well, it's a good job by the corner sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From their own 15-yard line, first down. Michigan State is up by six. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. You know, at that point, I think grab the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Carr takes it at the 47. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Florida's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Sets up a screen. tillback has got it. And he's tackled at the 31. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. It's a well-designed play for the halfback. And it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 13-10, Michigan State. is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan State holds a field goal lead. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's hit and taken down. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's taken down at about the 31. Quick pass, and a 
push him out at about the 39 yard line. It's a smart job here by the coaches. Making a play call here that really played to their offensive strengths. That's knowing your personnel. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 39. Decent run here, right side. They'll line it up again on third down. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. from the 31-yard line. It's first down. Michigan State is up a field goal. A little toss across the middle, and he's immediately tackled. Spartans taking their first time out of the half. This is the eighth play of this drive. This is the 12th play of the drive. He's in trouble. He scrambled. That's a great tackle at the six yard line. Michigan State has a three-point lead. He gets it up, and he got it. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Roberts has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. to the tailback. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. A great first half comes to a close. 16-10, Spartans.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look, you know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but yeah. they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him, you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our play and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Very close game now as we start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Michigan State up six. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty will make it first and 15. the hand on tackled for a loss and he carries the ball for a nice game and he picked up almost four on that halfback delay it's third down, 14 to go. Ball on the 20. Brought down at the 20. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. for the corner. They'll bring him down at the 44. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Catches it and that's off. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. They're about four yards away here on second down. Got his back, but he can't hang on. From the 24-yard line, second down.
forward to about the 23. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Florida, the kick. He's to the 20. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Michigan State is up by three. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's taken down around the 19-yard line. fourth down on third down the defense was expecting the pass and they defended the play very well in the secondary herring is the putter tackle at the 48 yard line this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. The Cavalry's coming. They bring the quarterback down. And for Saxton, that sack was his fifth of the year. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Wants to throw outside. Almost intercepted. waiting for the snap. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Michigan State holds a field goal lead. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. And they fall on the loose ball. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. The 10 gets it out quickly. He's tackled right around the eight-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Black, black. 
puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. And they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can think the play calling there. Very impressive. on the extra point. A short two-play, 18-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 20-16. Dawson ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. And they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense, and really throughout the entire team. It's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. And he's tackled at the 36. First and 10. Ball on their own 36. It's a fumble. Scooped up by the offense. Tackle at the 48. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 49. Here comes the pressure. Lost the ball. Football. He's taken down at the 39 yard line. So the sack makes this third and very long. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. Carr is back awaiting the punt. And he just got drilled. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offense has seemed to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure victory. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. I love to watch a quarterback where he can really get in the safe with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense. And right now, it's really paying off. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Florida is up four. He might have a chance. Inside the 30. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. to pick up the first down. Check, check. It's, it's. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. <laughs> K 
Kicks away. And he missed it off the upright. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Slings it to his fullback. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Six yards that time on the pass play. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He throws right. And he snags that one. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 2016, Florida. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Black five, black five. Three, 15. With a pitch, and he's taken down behind the line. Third and long here. Let's see what the offensive coordinators come up with. And this quarterback needs a conversion here. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Tackle made out of the 36-yard line. Morrison on the inside handoff. They go to the left for a nice game. play of the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, it's third down. to 
his receiver. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. It was a 12-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He lets it fly. It's the sophomore that's got it. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. So the big game resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He will tackle immediately. They lose three yards there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Gets it off as he's hit, complete, and he's taken down around the 16 yard line. Puts the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. He fights forward to about the 29. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Dumps it complete to the halfback. Over the middle. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Herring awaits the snap. it to the 38-yard line.
This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Fires out to his receiver. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 47-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. the 49. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass. And he's tackled at the 44. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So the penalty puts them back for a first and long. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 47. Easy midfield. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out in a hurry. Almost picked off. Just over a minute left. Here's the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 30 yard line. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From the 15 yard line, first down. Gets to about the 14 yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. And this play is number eight on the drive. run to the left there. That makes it third and three. The Gators taking their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he's tackled that with positive yardage. Boy, this poor defense, that is the sixth first down on this drive alone. They're going to have to bring in some backups because this defense is not going to be able to stay out on the field much longer. And you can see the confusion. They're looking over the side. Touchdown, Gators! Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game. And this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. He tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 57-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 30-23. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. <laughs> Tackles him hard at the 17. Big play there by the defensive end to get into the backfield and get the quarterback. It's amazing what this kid can do on the field. Don't let his youth fool you. He's good. So the sack makes this a second and long. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. 
immediately. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. Flags are all over the place, and he'll blow it dead. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. Third and very long, and it's going to take a miracle to convert here. Quick throw. statement in this game. For all of you watching, it's been a great game and it has a chance to be even greater. Will the prayer be answered? It's time for the Hail Mary. Caught end zone for the touchdown. How would you like to be this young man right now? Somehow they managed to pull out this touchdown, but now he's got to come out to kick this extra point to send it into overtime. And they're going to take a timeout here and let him think about it. And this is the biggest extra point that this young man will ever have to kick in his life. This for overtime. We're going to OT. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner. So we go to overtime. He stopped immediately. Burns. Gains about four yards there. It's second and six. Ball on the 21 yard line. Feeds it to the back. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw.
So the kicker comes on to try to win this game in overtime. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Well, the defense got the stop. Now this young man has very coolly come through to put the W in his team's win column. Is this great or what? That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Florida 33, Michigan State 30. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, what can you say when you have two evenly matched teams come in and duke it out and go into overtime? Michigan State really gave it all they had, but they just didn't have enough left in their tank. Mm. Once they the end of that game was time. disgusting, but glad we got out with W. I threw a Hail Mary to tie the game. This whole I ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Take a look at our choice for today's player of the game. He made a big contribution to his team's win for Florida. They win another one late in the season, giving them an eight and five record. For Michigan State, they dropped below 500 on the season with today's loss. Mm. Well, glad we got the win, but ugh, that was gross. Definitely going to have to fix the offense this offseason. Definitely. Is that fourth quarter for them, man? 14 points in the fourth quarter. Okay, day. Running game abysmal. Turnovers even, and we got the win. Ugh, I'm ready for the season to be over. That was... Ugh. Well, hopefully, I think with that bowl win, I at least won't get fired. It's Army, Wisconsin, California, LSU. only played 11 games unless you weird weird all right let's go simulate these bowl games well it's gonna be an interesting one curious who won that game <laughs> USC did Rose Bowl. George should smack him. They don't smack him, but they get to win. Cotton Bowl, I take Wisconsin. Take LSU versus Army. This wouldn't happen in real life, mind you. Yeah, it's gonna win the national championship. LSU. Oh, yeah, LSU smashes them. All right, now that we know the national championship, let's go take a look at end of the season stats, Heisman winners, conference standings, and we'll start on the conference. So we finished third. Poor Missouri last. Um, Alabama, they did not do well either. Sunbelt, ULM, ACC, Vatek, Florida State won the Co uh, Atlantic, won the Coastal, American, Big 12, Big East, Big West, Big 10, Ohio State, Wisconsin, Rice. Hmm. What Notre Dame? Curious. Uh, I don't think we'll get fired this off season, but I definitely think by next off season we will if we don't figure our shit out. 
Alright. Heisman. Who won the Heisman? Running back. Jonathan Hendricks out of Ohio State. All-Americans. wonder if we have any All-Americans. Definitely none on offense. None on defense. What about for second team? Well, freshman defensive tackle Omar Walker. Second team All-American. Becker, second team. Freshman, we should have a lot of freshmen. What? We didn't have... We should have way more than that. Our, f our quarterback should be a... Will so special... Get out of here, dude. Whatever. Let's see how our all-SEC team... Another year of no offensive players. Interesting. It's very strange to me how they did that. Uh, award winners. None of our guys won awards. Almost. Becker almost won an award, but it goes to Georgia. Not a very high award winning kind of season. Alright, let's go look at our season stats. So, <coughs> Riser, the second string quarterback, finished 29 to 38, 340, two touchdowns, sacked twice. Rainford finished with 3,400 yards, 20 touchdowns, 15 picks, sacked 26 times. <laughs> Ellis had 216 yards, five touchdowns. Thomas, 153. Running game was abysmal. 107 yards. Huh? Carr had 1,000 yards. And just short of 1,000 yards was Sermon. So we almost had two receivers over 1,000 yards, which is really cool. Hopefully they come back. I know Carr should come back, but I need Sermon to come back next year. Young, he played outstanding. Starting him was... One of the best decisions I made, because look at that. He gave up one sack this year. Offensive line play was a lot better. Now, Keaton with 74 tackles. Becker with 62. Let's go with sacks. Omar Walker, our defensive tackle with nine sacks. Trevor Bell with nine. Barnwell with five. Brooks with two. Galabos only with two. Hmm, that's surprising. Becker with five, Brooks with three, two, interesting. Barnwell with 24, Galabos with 21, Trevor Bell 18. So it looks like Galabos was better at stopping the r uh, like stopping the run and stuff than getting sacks. Interesting. 21 for 25 for our kicker Dawson and Eric Page, who we're going to cut after the season. Probably going to switch card from part returner too. Other than that, that's it. It's been too crazy. Let's move on to the off season. See where our job standing is. Eight and five, uh, just below expectations. Won a bowl game, so shouldn't get fired this off season. But pressure's definitely mounting. The seats warming up in Gainesville. I'll tell you that. Um, we got to fix some things offensively. I'll tell you that. Definitely do. <laughs> Arkansas, West Virginia. Nah, I expected more job openings, honestly. None of these really surprised me. Yeah, I'll sign an extension with Florida, why wouldn't I? Silly.
Alright, <clears throat> let's go see what the status is of our team. Transfer portal and draft. Whoa. <clears throat> well. God, this guy. Riser could go. Wow. That's steep, man. Deep. It's a lot. Hill's the biggest loss out of all of them. Oh, we're a lot, a lot. They're Alabama. They're not losing that much this year. What about my arch rivals? Not losing a lot this year either. They're losing a lot. Man, sucks. Burns got drafted in the second round. Theo Robinson in the fourth. Yeah, I'll take this guy. See what we need the most. We don't really need anything. Um, obviously, we want to get this wide receiver, this running back, this kicker. We have you twelve hundred. Give you four thousand, maybe. This guy's probably good with three. Guy's gonna need probably like four. Other than that, we'll just give it to this guy. See what happens. Man, I lost a lot to the transfer portal this offseason. Like a lot, a lot. Sign the number fourth class. One five star, eleven four stars. Uh 
What the fuck? Yeah. Ended up getting a guard. <laughs> we still didn't get that stupid tight end. Uh, ended up getting Victor Grant, wide receiver. Got the running back. It's okay. I mean, not the greatest. Oh boy. Okay. <coughs> Let's evaluate this stuff. guys from the transfer portal so definitely got our running backs looking good Which one of these guys is the best run blockers they're all they all suck Do good receive with receivers this year. This guy was a bust. This guy was good. I'm gonna need to recruit offensive line hard this off season. We lost so many assholes to the portal. Kicker's an improvement, so what I'll do, shift this guy over to punter. Okay. to recruit the uh, offensive line this year. Alright, let's see how much this team improves. Alright, let's see. Alright. Went up one overall. Didn't get that much better. Sermon did. Kyron Stevens did. Carr did. Cannon. Bell. Who? Ransfer regressed a little bit. Okay, cuts. Got to cut five. Oh, not cutting any quarterbacks.
tempted to cut all these guys. Kicker. Ooh. Got a weak leg. Only seventy. Dude's got a weak leg. All right. I'll talk to you guys next time after we, for the preseason. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Coach Guns out.